Okay, so we'll, welcome back to Tomato Industries. Detail, here we are with the Prado still, and this is the extent of the doors. This is probably the best door um, in cleanliness regarding this upholstery. Uh, we On all upholstery, there's a bit of wear marks, but this one, even though you can see this brown stain on the elbow, where the elbow goes, uh, it's not... It's not actually um, the worst of the doors, but it's got stuff all dripping down the doors and that. So with this, because um, of the nature of this material uh, and, and all the crevices you can see here, uh, there will be brushes involved in this to get this clean. So we'll just look at the, uh, the vents and they're all filthy. They need a good going over. The mats, which will come out and get the usual uh, good brushing with super degreaser, high pressure clean, carpets are going to be uh, shampoo extracted, not not going to go crazy on them but just going to get them cleaner. Seats are the big one for the shampoo extraction internally, uh, he did tell me they had seat covers on but uh, over what is it seven years or eight years is it since the car, uh, since he bought the car a lot of grime and dirt and dust has got through it so they need to be cleaned up. Oh he's asked me to clean them up anyway. And the centre console's got your normal uh, sand, dirt, debris and everything. Down inside here is also... So inside there we have more dirt, debris. And then finally down inside uh, this one. Oh, wrong one. Oh, now it doesn't want to open. Oh, here we go. It's the one. The one pull. Uh, there's a fair bit of stuff going on in there. So... Uh, yeah, that needs to be cleaned out also. Alright, so everything in here will be clean and dressing put on. Uh, uh, probably Capra Pearl, I'd say. So these are all pretty um, sandy and stuff all the way through the vents, all here, all behind the steering wheel, in the gauge clusters. Uh, one of the areas that's really dirty is this um, roof liner. It's got black little mouldy stuff all over it. Uh, the door, the handles, the grips are also very dirty. Bias is very dirty up under here. There's marks. Uh, here, there's quite a bit of staining and stuff going on. So this is all, the roof liner is part of the clean. So, you can, oh, I'm not sure if it's showing up really well, but believe me, it's filthy. It is absolutely filthy. Uh, so that gets a good clean with um, my orange clean, orange degrees of clean. It's very, very good for cleaning that. So the back door, once again, needs brush work with this to get this into the crevices. Um, these seats, they don't come up at all. So I'm going to have to get the air hose in there and blow all the crap out from underneath. Um, they are also fairly dirty. They, there's no huge big stains on them, but you can tell they're just discoloured. They're not the same nice grey they started off being. So you'll see what I mean at the end. Uh, this is fairly damaged where things are going into the back of the front seat, passenger side. And I believe it's the same on the driver's side. Yeah, so these areas of the roof line are always probably some of the most dirtiest, just around there. And probably the same on the other side. Uh, it's getting pretty filthy towards the back there. And the same here with the carpet and the mats, all coming out and getting a good clean. A lot of sand, a lot, lot, lot of sand in this car. All right, so the back. Uh, we have these tool or shelvings, so they, they're coming out. So they're pretty dirty, and he wants these cleaned up too. So they'll be all cleaned up, shampoo extracted. Uh, this top cover will also be shampoo extracted. All the backs of seats, shampoo extracted. Um, all the dust and everything gotten out from these vents. Yeah, it's going to get a good clean. So we'll see back here, we've got some fairly uh, good marks on the roof liner uh, probably greasy blacky marks 
all over there. So that once again shows the extent of this roof line is uh, just how dirty it is. And the back door, uh, that is just there, the cover. I've, I've got the tools out, so that will all come off. That's that back area that we've already had a look at. Yeah, and uh, on would we go? Let's have a look from this side. More debris and dust and crap everywhere. Oh, just have a look down. Let me have a look between the uh, rails here. I might move the seats forward, might be the best thing to do. Give me a second here while I readjust. Uh, yeah, so we got you got your normal carnage for undersea carnage. Oh, two bucks. How good is that? And uh, so that all needs to be cleaned out all the way around the backs of the roof of the rails, what have you. All needs to be done. Yeah, so the sides of the seats, they've got some crap on them. Yep, and it's. Uh, this is just next door. Let's see the state it's in. Pretty mottly and dirty. Once again, brushwork, um, upholstery brush with super degreaser. And she gets a bit yucky down in there too. And here's probably the worst of the doors, the uh, driver's door, uh, in relation to this. So this is um, pretty dirty, not looking real good. Um, you see there, it's, it's it's pretty, it's sort of shiny here from the oils and grease. You've got brown stains all through it. This one needs a good clean. Next door itself, yeah, and all the crap. Dripping down the stuff inside the speaker. Uh, vents here, once again, pretty dusty and dirty. And uh, the dash ain't so bad, it just needs a good clean. There is a bit of stuff that um, I haven't quite identified around these speakers. I don't know if it's a salt or a wax or what it is. And also on this steering wheel, uh, this white uh, looking stuff. I don't know if it's wear or it's something that's from their hands or what it is, but hopefully the cleaning will get rid of that. Uh, Yes, and that mystery, that mystery um, substance that's on that speaker is also on this speaker, but it's a little bit more pronounced on these speakers. See, we've got some stuff there unidentified at the moment, but, uh, and of course there's this thing that just looks fucking untidy, mate. That's got to go. That's not good enough. Yeah, so that's it. That's the interior. Um, yeah, I've set a budget for two days on this one. Um, it's going to be non-stop action. Hopefully I'll document some of it. Uh, windscreen cowling will get a good clean and um, some Pearl or Deluxe will be put on there. And uh, yeah, that's it. So anyway, I'm going to start on this thing. I've just got a, an hour or so of light left. I'm going to start by uh, dragging the mats out and doing some vacuuming work. And then just make sure everything's organised for tomorrow. Look at the size of this bloody tyre, will you? You! Um, have everything organised because it has been reasonably busy this week. And uh, yeah, stuff sort of around the garage at the moment. So I need to pull it all back in and make sure everything is in its place and where it should be. So I have no time to be looking for stuff. Um, in, especially when I'm doing jobs like this. It's every second counts. All right, so uh, you have a good day, and um, I'll report back in tomorrow, and I'll take... I'm not sure which I'm doing first. I think I'll, I'm actually going to get the interior mainly cleaned, um, and also noticing some of these bird droppings that go all the way down the car. 
I'm hoping there's no etching going on there. They should be okay. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to start on the interior, get it all ready anyway, and do the roof liner. Um, due to the fact I'm doing the shampoo extraction carpets and seats, I'll probably do them next. Uh, just so they have drying time, although this weekend's supposed to be two spectacular days. So, yeah, I'm not exactly sure which way I'm going to attack this thing. The one area I'm sort of wondering around is when to put the sealant on the roof if I'm going to use hydro. So, situation is on the rest of the car I'm going to put Fuso. So, do I let, um, do I put the hydro on the roof and then wash it off and it drips down on everything and, and sort of uh, can get on the paint and the glass and all that and then I have to clean it off or do I put the Fuso on and the hydro drips down um, and then I can and then if I try and clean it off then if it, there's any spillage am I taking the Fuso coat off too so I'm sort of more of a nature to put it on the roof first and do the other coat second and that goes with the theme of start at the top and work down okay hope that all made sense and uh Hopefully uh, this is going to be a success and look as good as I envisage. All right, so I'll catch you later.